We have a new insider here giving us more information on Call of Duty Warzone. Apparently, YouTubers and streamers are being flown out this week, probably any day now, to actually play Call of Duty Warzone, Modern Warfare's Battle Royale, early, record gameplay, potentially stream it, and pretty much all of the marketing for this Battle Royale will start this week. Now, that doesn't really make sense. If Call of Duty Warzone is going to be a surprise drop, then how are they going to start the marketing this week? Maybe it's not going to be a surprise drop. And also, we've been talking about all the evidence for a Tuesday, February 18th release, which is tomorrow, which will would be a surprise drop because even though we've been talking about tomorrow being a release date there is no official confirmation that it is tomorrow so it would be a surprise to see it tomorrow but now we're getting all this other information that's saying early march so let's go through what we're seeing here what the game revolution is saying where this source is coming from and about the youtubers and a bunch of different people teasing it and playing this game early so call of duty warzone battle royale will release in early march development sources have indicated to vgc given that modern warfare updates are typically deployed on Tuesdays, March 10th is the most likely candidate for Warzone's release date. Now, if you look at a calendar here of March 2020, that's not even the first Tuesday in March. So if it's saying early March, I would also include Tuesday, March 3rd and Tuesday, March 10th. And the first two weeks would be considered early March. And then you'd be getting into mid to late March for the last three Tuesdays there, the 17th, 24th and 31st. The Battle Royale mode will also be released as a standalone game for free with the option for players to purchase an upgrade to the full version of Modern Warfare. So yet again, another source telling us that this game mode will actually be free to all players. If you don't have Modern Warfare, you can still get this game for free and you can upgrade to actually get the full Modern Warfare game. I knew that was going to happen. They bring new players into Modern Warfare by teasing them with Battle Royale and then you could upgrade probably within the Warzone menu to try out the multiplayer, the campaign and the Spec Ops, a great marketing tool and a great way for Activision Infinity anywhere to get new players to play Call of Duty. So some more information here, which I'm really focused on. Sources close to the game's developer indicate that official marketing plans for Warzone will start this week when invited North American content creators visit the studio to play and capture the Battle Royale mode ahead of a future announcement. So if you've been watching this channel since before Modern Warfare was first teased back in April when it was revealed at the end of May, we talked a lot about a bunch of the capture events YouTubers and influencers were flown out to and the big question was how much of the content are they actually playing and what are they going to reveal to us so sometimes they get to play a large portion of the new game of the new update but they actually only get to record a small portion of it so let's say they play the whole DLC pack but they only get to record 10 minutes and post 10 minutes with Battle Royale this is an interesting situation is it going to be they get to play the entire Battle Royale especially with a streamer if a streamer is being invited out to play this game early, their content is streaming and streaming by definition is going to be longer than 10 minutes. So these streamers and most likely the YouTubers themselves will be able to play through all of the Battle Royale early. And if this marketing goes as planned, at least what it seems like here, we'll be getting official Warzone gameplay this week. Now, if everyone's being invited out and they're just pre-recording gameplay and the marketing doesn't actually start this week and they're still doing the surprise drop, at least that we've seen before, I mean, the leaks have been saying Activision wants to do an Apex style drop, starting the marketing for this game and officially teasing it and giving us early gameplay from YouTubers wouldn't really be a surprise and they would ruin the surprise. Who knows what their plans are there, but we have some more information here to go through. So much like the series successful mobile game, Activision hopes Warzone will attract new players into the Call of Duty ecosystem and keep them engaged with frequent content updates, some of which will be monetized. Again, that's obvious. Warzone being free especially is a clear way to get new people to play Call of Duty. Uh, tons of updates. It's going to be constantly supported and probably supported even after Modern Warfare's sort of one year cycle and probably into 2021 as well. So it sees Warzone as a more accessible entry point into the Call of Duty series for those who have stopped or haven't started investing in the series annual releases. The free to play mode will act as a third pillar alongside Call of Duty Mobile and future full price releases, which will continue to offer a premium package of campaign 
multiplayer, zombies, spec ops moving forward. So, you know, Warzone is going to be this third pillar alongside mobile and then also alongside every yearly game. So COD 2020, COD 2021, Warzone will still be there. It's going to turn into the main Call of Duty Battle Royale. Blackout, I think, was just a test for Call of Duty. Blackout, maybe they talked about it being the main Battle Royale, but they finally decided Warzone. Let's put together a good Battle Royale for Call of Duty that we can bring over and carry over from year after year and not really keep it with Modern Warfare, but bring it over to all these different games. So next thing here, Studio Sources also told VGC that Activision has no intention of slowing down its premium Call of Duty releases, which will continue to be created under the leadership of Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer. Looks like Sledgehammer is still here. I guess they're going to move back to 2021 instead of 2020 since Treyarch is taking over and hopefully they make a decent game for once. So Game Revolution here goes through a bunch of different stuff here about what is going on with this release date. So there's nothing wrong with Warzone releasing in early March if it's not ready yet, but don't tease it with the season two launch and then not say a single thing. Of course, the community is naturally going to expect it to be coming soon if it's teased out of nowhere. So he's pretty much saying if you guys are going to tease Battle Royale in the beginning of season two, people are obviously going to think it's going to be coming very soon and not a full month after season two releases. He goes on to say, all the community is hearing is crickets. The studio should act more human-like rather than a corporate entity. No human would stay silent after a glitch reveals the mode. They would immediately put out a statement saying something like, sorry for the UI mess up, but congratulations to the lucky select few of you that got to preview the upcoming Warzone Battle Royale mode coming on X date. Be prepared for more teasers and info on our social media channels. So pretty much, I do agree with that point here where it's like Activision knows because they've been striking the videos. They know everyone knows about the glitch. They know everyone knows about Warzone being in the game. Might as well own up to it and use it as a teaser. Capture the hype that everyone has and carry it forward. At least, you know, put out another cryptic image, do something like that. I don't know why people behind the scenes aren't thinking like that because although what they're doing right now is not a bad thing, it makes sense why they don't want their game mode leaked, but it's been leaked. That's just the way it is. The whole game mode's been leaked. Might as well just own it and use it to your advantage. So someone else says, if Warzone has its own eight weekly challenges and it doesn't correlate with when season two ends, does that possibly mean that Warzone will have its own seasons and its own battle pass? The eight weekly challenges for Battle Royale season two could be out of date. No one knows exactly what the code means and it's all up for interpretation. Maybe months ago, they planned it for release exactly when season two dropped, for example, and it's left over from that. So that's true as well. I mean, if they release it on March 10th, eight weekly challenges for Battle Royale that coincide with season two, it just would not make sense because at that point, season two would be halfway over. So then people are saying, well, does that mean Battle Royale might have its own season? Who knows? I, I mean, the Game Revolutions theory there does make sense. Maybe they did want Battle Royale to release right at season two and they just decided, you know what? Well, let's finish it up. Let's maybe take a bit more time to fine tune it to make sure the Battle Royale mode is perfect when it launches. So who knows what's going on behind the scenes, but that definitely is an issue there because a lot of people are saying that the Warzone hype might die down because there's so much being leaked. Everyone's talking about it. It's the main thing right now within at least the Call of Duty community here. Everyone's talking about Warzone. And like the Game Revolution has said here, I'll put this tweet up on screen, besides apart from a release date, we know almost every single thing to know about Warzone at this point. There really isn't much more to know. So we know everything about Warzone. I mean, I covered it in most of my videos and there's a whole Reddit post compiling every single leak about Warzone. And we've known a lot about the Battle Royale for such a long time now. I went through the leaks back in November, I'm pretty sure. And the video actually didn't really get a lot of views because I think a lot of people didn't realize that Battle Royale was actually going to be a thing. And now that we know it's going to be a thing, it's just insane to see all of the information drop all at once. And now the release date is coming together. I mean, we still don't know for sure. It really could drop at any point. But at least now, I think this is the best source we have seen. Early March seems like the time in which we are are going to see Battle Royale. I'm just confused as to if it's going to be a surprise drop or not, because if they're saying the marketing is going to start this week for Battle Royale, does that mean for the next couple of weeks, they're going to do like the slow marketing for Warzone and continuously hype it up until it's released in early March? Does that mean that behind the scenes, they're going to start the marketing, then all of a sudden they'll just drop it and still do the surprise, even though everyone knows it still will be a surprise. It still will be trending on Twitter when it drops, because I think most 
most people don't really know about Warzone, and if it drops randomly, it's going to be, you know, exposed to a ton of casual people, but everyone within, like, the main Call of Duty community and everyone that watches Call of Duty YouTubers, which isn't a majority, I mean, a minority of people actually watch YouTubers, most of the people will be like, wow, you know, Warzone just released, that's so cool, I'm so hyped, and it'll still be technically a surprise to most people, so that'd be cool as well, maybe that's still their plan, if not, it's not that big of a deal, I mean, at least we're getting a battle royale, we were talking about the potential of this battle royale being cancelled, so... It's going to be cool to see whether or not it's good or bad. It's some more content. It should bring players back to the community. And it should be a change of pace, especially for people that are getting bored of Modern Warfare and it's getting a bit stale. Now we're going to be getting new content for multiplayer, battle royale, campaign, spec ops, and all different stuff for the game. Uh, but we'll just have to see exactly what happens here. So thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.